On a cold fall night, artist George Biruji and a team of volunteers install a mural that features a black Bernian warbler and a yellow-throated warbler, both a part of the Audubon Mural Project in Harlem and Washington Heights. And I think is a great thing for the neighborhood. Also, I think it's great to get art outside of a gallery context. I think art can exist in so many contexts, not just on like the white-walled gallery. George volunteered to create work for the Audubon Mural Project, brainchild of gallery owner Avi Gittler. Gittler wanted to pay homage to John James Audubon, the famous watercolorist who focused on birds and lived Harlem for a time. We were just painting uh, some birds in tribute to Mr. John James Audubon, uh, the great American painter of birds. You can find the project's bird murals in unlikely places, like over this gas station across the street from where Audubon is buried. I think it's pretty awesome. About 75 artists created paintings in different styles to fit the walls and even roll down shutters that Gittler and found for them to work on. I understood that it was big, but only after we did 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 murals did I realize how daunting the project actually was. This nonprofit needed funders to make the project happen, and Gittler asked individual donors to chip in. We'd like to get more artists to create birds for the project and hopes to attract additional donors. We're trying to make it as particip participatory as possible. For artists like George Bruge, it was a great opportunity. In his Brooklyn studio, he showed his sketches he created before he made his paintings. I was interested because all the work that I make is about wildlife and how we view wildlife, and so it was kind of a perfect fit. The galleries hope to take this project into the new year, and we will be looking out for this Volunteers and backers are always welcome. For further information, you can check out Ways to Contribute at AudubonMuralProject.org. This is Timothy Lopez, CCNY News.